we're in a remote area of near Point Mary in Pennsylvania, uh, trying to find some Coke ovens that are along Nyland Road. I'm gonna take you underneath an old B&O railroad alignment that's been long abandoned. It's kind of cool tunnel, it's very low. The oven should be nearby here. On the way to the ovens is a wood supported culvert underneath the railroad pretty old coming up on them now this is a nice set and the faces are still on them I'm gonna go up and take a closer look at them there's a big puddle in front of me so I'm having difficulty getting over there this gives you a good idea of the faces the things beautiful usually you don't see them with the faces on them this is in what's considered the Lake Lynn area I don't know what this coke oven operation was originally called you can see the railroad alignment uh, running right underneath the coke ovens I found a cross point so we're gonna get up a little bit closer to them It's not very often you get to see the full faces like this. These were probably in use up to probably the 1940s, early 50s because of the type of um, brick face that you have versus stone. It goes on for a fair distance. A lot of them looks something like this where you can see the tree above has just, you know, collapsed the oven. And you go back this way as well. An added bonus you get with these ovens today is you get uh, some waterfall action coming down over the front of them. But this is also the reason that this will eventually collapse over time. This gives you an idea why the environment ends up taking these ovens. Got three with spring water coming over top of them. Keeps the front of the uh, ovens nice and clean. You can see um, the floor bricks pretty prominent here as well. This is near Point Marion, Pennsylvania, in Fayette County. I've walked to the end. What's neat about this one is you can see underneath the face the beehive construction that hasn't quite collapsed in yet. It's just incredible how many bricks go into the construction of just one oven.